Hi there, I'm back again. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello. Um, <clears throat> if you've been watching these uh, weekend um, series for the last two weeks, um, this is part of it. So we're going to make some note books. How cute are these? <laughs> I've had these little and I'd only got six because they have been making eight um, of each item, but I'd only got six and I thought, well, they're too fab. Uh, not to do so <clears throat> the backs of them I've just used um, cereal packet and I'm going to cover those over with this really nice uh, craft card so there's not a lot uh, to do but I want to make uh, three different types of notebooks in this video so I thought well if we make the easy um, one first that's terrible there right i'm back uh yeah that angle was awful that that i had it in i'm trying to get an angle that that's not just straight down on on my desk but i think i'm gonna actually have to move the um the tripod thing to to be able to get that but i don't know where else because it's one that screws onto the side of my desk so I don't know where else I could uh, screw it to that it's not going to be, um, you know, that I'm not going to be banging my elbow into it. So it's at the side of my desk to the left of me, like right at the corner. So I sit away from from it. So I could have probably, I bet you I could have got more on if I'd have gone that way. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm a bit bored of um seeing its top on. Um, so yeah, I want to try and get it to to more of a um a bit of a side on kind of thing. But like I say, it, it's no good if it, it if it's going to get in in my way um while I'm filming. And obviously, I need to be able to. <coughs> um, reach and get you know certain certain things because in front of me that's where i keep you know all my scissors me inks um what else do i keep oh everything you know everything that i possibly uh need um like not tool wise because they're not actually tools well, i suppose they are tools but not I don't mean like cutting boards and that. I keep those to the to the right of me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I need to have a play with it. But oh, every time I think it's not even a big job. But every time I think about unscrewing it and messing about with it, um, I just think oh. Um, and then I think well, it it's not a bad view. So. Uh, you know just just leave it as it is a type thing so that's why I never get on with that anyway <laughs> that's that's that waffle that's a shame that I couldn't um, fit all six on but I don't think there was no no doing that whatever way um I did it so I have to use two pieces right pop that there and then I'm going to get my uh, brayer. So, yeah, I suppose they are tools, aren't they? Um, but, yeah, small tools. Give them a good squashing, squashing down. Um, I don't know why I bothered rounding the edges. Because, obviously, I'm going to have to round um, the edges again. I imagine if I cut, if I cut okay, might not have to get the rounder out. So I'm just going to cut round them all. So, 
won't that? I wonder, we'll see what we think of this. I've, I've just changed it. <laughs> it ran while I was talking about it. I thought, just, just do it. So, yeah, we'll try this because I feel like now um, you're getting a lot more of me uh, space. Because uh, when you've got a lot of stuff on your desk, it's hard to um, just keep, keep in the middle. So, um, we'll try. But now the camera is like right in my eye line. So, um, we'll see, see how much it, it bothers me. So, I've cut all those out. Um, I'm going to use... Now, I must be careful because I have refilled um, my inks. I think I'm going to use gathered twigs. I've not used that for, for a little while. Yeah. yeah, I think this is going to be juicy, juicy. So just be, be very careful with it. So I'm literally just going around the edges to really, you know, just join the two pieces of of card together. Um, but it, it, it won't cover up this this bit of atrocious cutting so yeah it kind of just hides any um imperfections and you know your whiteness so i shall do that and then this nice side is going to be the side what what the paper's on um and i feel like i want to do something um to the back of it but i'm not sure um what because i would imagine i think the way that i would use it is i'd actually stick it down um but would i because <laughs> you've got this there so but yeah you can still stick it down and just not stick the top bit down yeah i think that's the way i'd use it so with that in mind it's probably not worth um decorating the back so yeah might not, not bother i think i'm just gonna ink around these i've just put five um pieces of, of paper in right keep varying off now to the right so i don't have to look um through the camera <laughs> so straighten that up i'd like it that you can just see uh, a bit of the craft at the top and then and that in the middle <laughs> i love them oh they're so dinky do but yeah i think they really fit in with the uh, botanicals. I think I'm going to do uh, a, a bit of stamping just on the front page. Um, might pull the tim holes. Now, because this camera is now on my right, um, it actually might. I might find it difficult, like grabbing stamps down and, and things. It's better here that I can reach all these things on on the left because i'm not reaching over the camera um anymore so yeah perhaps need to bear that in mind and and um if i'm thinking i'm going to be using stamps and any of me boards and things i perhaps need to um get them out and off them um maybe just on the floor at the side of me I do you think i could sometimes do with just a little table um, <laughs> just to have it the side of me sometimes um, for those kinds of things. So we'll work it out. But I'm thinking that this um, this view is pretty okay. I'll say you're just seeing a lot more of me of my desk. Right, I might as well finish these off camera because um, we're making three notebooks, and obviously don't want it to go on, you know for hours and this is the you know quickest simplest uh, notebook so i thought well, well we'll make this first so i'll just do this one then i'll pause um and i'll get my stamps out why why i'm paused <laughs> 
love them. Oh, I've moved it again. <laughs> That's it now. I really like this. Um, I've moved it now so I can actually reach up here. Um, the camera's still to the right hand side, but um, yeah, it's in a different place. So it's now not, it's a bit higher. So it's not smack in front of my face and it's freed uh, this up. So this might be, this might be it. Sorry if um, it's, but I've been meaning to do it for ages. So what better time? Um, right, so I'm just going to put um, a Tim Holtz stamp on. Oh, spy up for choice, really. Just want something small, really. Do I just want a number? I, I mean, I keep being drawn to to the bird. What about the botanical? I suppose we could do that. Let's do that. Um, let's get my little stamp here. Yeah, I might as well do it on the big one. <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? I could put it there, couldn't I? And just go like that. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, I'm just going to do it with the distressing because I don't want it, um, you know, OTT. Just want it more subtle. I think that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I love it. Oh, that colour's so nice. Red looks like um, sepia, doesn't it? On that, <coughs> on that actual paper. So that is the first notebooks done. So really easy peasy. Um, I'll see if I can find the clips, and I will put them on my Amazon favourites and I will put them in bits and pieces uh, the stamps already on my um, Amazon favourites it shouldn't be under like inks right I'm going to pause and I'm going to get set up for um, the next notebook so the next books uh, well notebooks that we're going to make are from these envelopes um, <coughs> They're just envelopes. <laughs> I've seen um, them on Amazon. I've seen them on eBay. I've seen them on AliExpress. So the six and um, a quarter by four and a quarter. So I folded it in the middle. And it's going to go that way. So you open it up and there's a pocket there. Now... I want to put an eyelet on there and obviously, you know, this isn't the thickest uh, paper. So, to start off, I'm going to use that uh, craft card, what was left over. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, I've obviously got to get used to um, where it is. And... I think I'm going to do it with Kalal. I don't know if to put tape across there, you know. Let's try... Let's try tape. Because um, I just want to give it a little bit more stability. Um, so, I'm wondering if I just put tape across it like so. gone into the envelope I'm going to say it's going to be more tricky than, than you think isn't it let's um, see if I can just oh, let me start again it's 
rip that bit off. Right, I want to get it right on the edge. I think that's better. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that with all of them. Um, I'm going to get my bone folder and really burnish it down. And I think that will just give um, enough stability. Now, I am going to this some like says universal collection or something obviously i don't want that on there so if i use a washi tape over the top like so again that will add um a bit of, ooh, oh Oh, it hasn't ripped. Oof. <laughs> How lucky was that? It's actually ripped around uh, the lip. So let's just cut this one off and then we can see, see how it looks. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit fiddly, but only because I'm doing eight of, of them. I mean, you know, if you're must making for yourself, um, I would imagine, you know, four would be um, sufficient so that's that and then if I go around there um, and I feel of that I think that'll be fine it's not like I'm gonna be pulling pulling on it um yeah I just wanted to put an eyelet and then just a bit of string around it um just to tie it tie it up so I'll be back in a tick right I've done all those so um I think not last week the week before I made these kind of uh clusters it was in my uh, using your stash up because I use a lot of uh, botanical kits. I get lots of, you know, just plain brown things in, in kits. So I just made some simple clusters and I thought these would be ideal uh, for the front cover. Um, so I'm going to stick them on and whatever's hanging off. Um, I don't have to rip it off first or... I could actually bend it. Yeah, I'm going to bend bend them round. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the um, Kalal. And if I do it that way, and just remember that I need to put the main image on there. So if you've not caught that video, it will be in my botanical series. which I will put the link for in the description. So I'm going to place it on there. It is so nice having um, embellishments already made up. And I do love clusters because you can do so much uh, with them. So leave that there to dry. So if I put that right there, <laughs> that can just be be on the front. So yeah, I did lots of different things. I sewed them. I um, put staples in them. It was a very fun uh, project. Um, I will be doing some other type clusters and things coming coming up. Because I would like a lot of clusters in my stash because, like I say, they're always very, very handy. So, leave that. Are these, are these going to be the right way? Yeah. Eek. <laughs> so, that 
that's going to have to go, go over. So I've got plenty of glue there. So as you can see, this one I've just stapled um, together. I had got some um, quite a bit bigger than these. I did just pull out the ones that, you know, was that kind of size. But yeah, I'd made some quite large ones too, which um, I think will be good as tucks. I'm saying like that could have been a side tuck. bent over but yeah I thought it would be silly decorating the front when I've already got <laughs> these things and I do like making up loads of different type notebooks so if I can you know make it a little bit more quicker um, then that's great and I think notebooks are very good for using up um, your scraps of two stained paper and things but I do buy some um, I either buy some vintage coloured paper or parchment paper from Amazon and I tend to use um, those for my notebooks because um, I'm not a great lover of tea dyeing um, so I, I tend to save my uh, tear dyed paper for, you know, for the actual journals. So I either use scraps in the notebooks or I use the parchment or the antique paper. Again, both of those are on my um, Amazon favourites. Oh, I like that one. <clears throat> that one will go over make sure I've got plenty of glue there Okay, yeah. Okay, and this one, Again, that's gonna go over. So next, I'm gonna get um, some papers out to put in. So I'm thinking if I put five um, sheets in, just wondering how many. I wonder if I'd get three out of um, an A4. Let's um, have a look. Just put that back a minute. So, one, two. Hmm, maybe. So we don't obviously want um, um right to the you know top and bottom we want a little bit of a of a gap so how wide are they? Hmm. So I wonder if to do them So they're four and a quarter, 
So if I did a map four and a, a third, I think that is. Two eights. No, it's not. There's no way I can get um, it out. So one, two, three, four, five. So that'll do two bolts. Four bolts. Six bolts. wasn't a bad guess, was it? <laughs> I needed one. Right, let's keep that one to the... Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to move this over to this side and this. Let's um, get my big trimmer out. Hmm. I still can't quite get it in, get it in my space. Oh, that's not so bad. Um, sorry about the light shining. So if I just do a few at a time. So we know that they like four and two eighths, don't we? Let's have a look. So there's four and two, okay. So that's one. So four and two. So I think we'll have to make some uh, long pads with uh, what's left over. So four, two eights. But yeah, normally when I make uh, pads, I'll look at the scraps. Oh, on, Tanya, hold it down. Um, I look at the scraps that I've got and I do my, I make whatever notebook to suit kind of the scraps. Uh, I think I like that about it. Right. Get all these in. Right, last pile, and then obviously we need um, the wet. I hate it when I've got bits like that left, but I'm going to save them because I think they'll make uh, good bases for um, when we do the clusters, actually. I bet this won't go through. I think I was being a little bit ambitious. I'm going to pause after I've done this and all I'm going to do is um, just get five pieces, uh, fold them in half and then get my bone folder and just uh, burnish them down. I'm going to put them inside, um, you know, ready to be sewn up and then I'll come back and we'll also um, a couple of, I'm going to, I'm going to do them with three old pamphlet stitch because the other ones uh, that I'm going to do, I 
I think I want. Oh, actually, I might staple these ones in, and I'll do the three old pamphlet stitching. Um, the other, the other notepad. Um, yeah, that's an idea because then it shows all different different ways. So I'll be back in a short while. Okay, I'm back. I ended up being away longer than longer than I thought. Um, so where was we? We was making these um, envelope booklets. So <coughs> I've sat and got six of them done. So I'll do the other two uh, with you. And I've prepped for the next um, notebook as well. I needed to keep my phone um, clear because I film on my phone. Um, but when it gets time for Eleanor coming back from school... Um, I try not to be filming because I want to know where she is, what she's doing, how long she's going to be uh, and all the rest of it. So <clears throat> I ended up uh, waiting till, till she got home. So I've just folded those up in half and I'm just going to gently bring that over. So it's not the side that we've decorated because that's, you know, hard. Um, it's It's the back. And I'm going to put the stapler in. I haven't got a deep one. Um, and I can still still get in doing it this way. And I just try to get it, you know, on the on the crease. So I find it a little bit difficult to get it um, dead on. But, and then <coughs> I just straighten them up. Now, I was going to put that... Um, closure on but I decided just to put a paper clip on them um, I might add some ribbon in the top of it or, or a bit of string or something but um, yeah I thought putting a string around it and make it a little bit awkward with it just being a tiny um, notebook so that's that one and this one same again just fold them in half with there only being five, um, I'll just fold them all at the same time. If there was more, I'd I'd fold them separately. Um, it's just fine there. The middle, and that's that. And again, I'm just gonna put the envelope bit in, fold it over, just push you know, the middle of the papers into the spine before you turn it over. I've still got them in the same place. And just get a staple in there. And there. You could put three in, but I thought two was, was sufficient. So just fold them over. And then <coughs> you've got this pocket here if you wanted to put um, a journal card in. If I find something that fits, I will pop pop something in. But I don't feel like I've got anything uh, in that size. So I'll just bend that round. And we'll just put a, a paper clip on it. So that's our second um, notebook done. And I really like those. So I've got those. <laughs> I think they've turned out real nice. And we did those at the at the beginning. So that's two notebooks. So our last notebook is uh, with some glossine bags and these are the the brown ones uh, we don't get these in the uk well i've never seen them um <coughs> my friend sent them me from from america so i've done these ones and these uh were sent to me uh if you saw my uh vlog the other week and um, these was in my happy mail and i thought oh i'll use those so uh, it's just stamped on onto material and i thought they just went uh lovely so they're the ones that I've done. I've just kept two um, aside. So they're all going to need papers. So these bags are um, eight and three quarters by six. So I'm folding them in with the lower 
point am I on camera um on the inside and then I'm just gonna fold it in half like so okay do the same with this one make sure that's inside I'll just <laughs> squash that down with my with my nail <laughs> my nail tool um I'm gonna put this fabric on top of some craft card um, yep. and I'll put that one on there and I've got some fabric glue just check that yeah that's fine I'm saying I'm a bit unsure now with moving the camera. It'll take me a bit to get used to it because I've hired it so it's not in my eye line anymore. So I can't see it. So yeah, I'm a bit unsure where my space is. So I'm just going to stick that onto there. Like so. Do the same with this one. So yeah, I'm still liking uh, this this fabric glue. Um, I've not found anything yet uh, that it won't stick. Oh, apart from this kind of uh, stuff, I don't think it's because it's um, burlap. I think it's just the netting uh, stuff because it wouldn't do the other stuff that that I've got. Um, but apart from that, it's it's doing doing its job and it's not blocked up, it's not gone gunky and you know, all the rest of the stuff that we moan about with um <laughs> fabric. So I've just cut two pieces off and they're gonna go down down the spine. So I'm gonna open it back up and I'm using my glue tape and it is a little bit difficult to, to get down um, glassine but I'm going to put a couple of lines down it's awkward whichever way I do it if I put it onto this or onto the bag and then I'm just going to place that over the top yeah that's fab it that that glue actually just um rubs rubs off so that's brilliant so that's them i have added those to the amazon um i did have a look at at the little clips and i couldn't find them on amazon um and if i remember rightly i think i did buy them from from ebay and i've had them a long time probably nearly two years because I hardly used to use Amazon um, I only ever used to use Amazon for bulks um, and any bits and bobs I always used to get them from, from eBay but then um, when I got Prime and that I just started ordering everything from from Amazon so I mean there's still some stuff I do have to go on eBay uh, for Right, so that's that one. We'll do the other one. Let's um, do this on the burlap this time. So yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to um, like slide slide across it for some strange reason. Yeah, it's not doing that. Come on to break it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, seriously, I have broke it. Yeah, broke it going over that one. Mm -mm. I don't know if... Oh no. I think it's nearly gone anyway because I'm just I've literally done loads with that. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah, 
yeah, it's brilliant. Right, but yeah, I think I've nearly used it anyway. Um, it's surprising there's not um as much on it <coughs> as you as you think. I mean, there's ten meters on it, but um, yeah, when you're doing a lot of something, um, it it's surprising. Ten meters isn't isn't that far. Right. But after I've done these, I probably won't use them again for, you know, for a while. Right, so that's that one. <laughs> that's going to want trimming oh, off. Like so. A bit more glue on that. Yeah, I don't think it's loving the vellum. I'll be careful or I'll be <coughs> breaking this one. Yeah, I think it's because it's slidey, like th this is rough, so it doesn't like sliding across it. And then obviously this is um, smooth. as I do it on a piece of paper it's uh it's fine oh gosh what performance yeah I've ended up getting it to, to stay but it, it was just sliding um on this this is a lot more greasier um than than vellum uh these are like grease proof bags aren't they for, for sandwiches and things so that's those two uh done let's put that over there and we're going to put these on here so i've got the doily which i'm going to put something like so i'm just gonna rip a bit of that off and I love that like like that so I don't know why I'm using the fabric glue but <laughs> it seems to work put that over there so I'm gonna pop that there yep just move it Okay, that's it. So that's that. Let's do the same with the other. We'll have that going and that way. <coughs> it's gonna need proper glue on it. <coughs> so Okay, let's pull that out a bit. That's better. Right, so that's those two. <coughs> I'm gonna get my art glitter out. And I've got some um, brown tissue, just a little bit what was left. So I don't know if to. I like that so let's get this out okay 
Okay. Do I want any tea bag? I don't think I do. So I'm quite happy with, with that one. Yeah. And this one, oh my goodness, I need some more on this one. Let's see if I can get this to, <coughs> to glue down. I think the last time I did anything with these, I think I ended up like sewing, um, sewing the panels and then just, I don't know, I think I probably use Fabri-Tac, I mean that, oh I don't, I don't want Fabri-Tac, <laughs> but yeah, they, that seems to work on everything don't it? Right, I don't have to put a clip in there for a minute yeah, it'll be fine right yep I think I'll just pop that on and that what are the clouds like on on this shall I give it a Give it a go. So I won't know unless that's a try. So I'll put plenty plenty on. So pop that there. I've ended up doing that the wrong way around, I have, but it doesn't matter. That's that one. And I have ordered um, a massive one of the clouds. Um, I don't know if it's, what's that, 100 mil? I think it's like, I don't know if it's a thousand mil or something. Um, I'm just hoping that it, it's easy enough to, you know, um, decant into, into there. I definitely do like uh, the cloud. Right, so I'm happy with those. Let's pop that back. I don't want that anymore. That can go over there. I'm going to need that. Oh, we don't need that. And I don't need that. Right, what am I reaching for? Ha <laughs> ha. Some, a word or something. So we've got horticulture and nature. So these are Tracy Fox definitions <coughs> and I've um, printed them two to a page so they've come out um, a bit smaller which is nice because I found when I did them the normal size it was always a bit too big. I mean they're not massive or anything but um, You know, as a normal size one. Well, it's it's just too big, isn't it? Um, I think it's the amount of words what's on it. It just makes it look uh, too big. So I do think they look a lot better um, small. Let's pop that on there. Just make sure that's straightish. Right, I'm going to have to size this paper. Again, I'll put five uh, sheets in because that will make 20 sides, which is, you know, a good amount for, for a notebook. Just trying to get this pin in here. Okay. So that's that. Put those two bags over here. Right, paper. So I'm hoping that we can go that way and we can get two um, out of it. So let's, let's have a look. 
Yeah, it's fine going that way. I don't know if we're on it. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So, if I can get two uh, per thing, oh, that's going to be hard to um, thing, eh? So, if we're having five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So, I want forty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. So we want those. Gone through a big, a big stack of paper uh, today. <coughs> um. Oh, don't know if I'm gonna fit. Creating a space. Okay, so how wide are these? <laughs> I forget. So they're eight, eight and a quarter. So what's that? Four and more halved first What I'll be long, they're 11 something. So, oh gosh, why does it have to be so complicated? Let's just fold one and see. Yeah, um, my head and numbers just don't go. Five and a half, five and three quarters. bad why am I doing that I've done it wrong haven't I oh what a what a wally what an absolute wally I just needed to cut them in half didn't I oh what a plonker 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I've got all this. Yeah, all, all I needed to do was cut them in half and then just fold them. Oh my word. Right, I'm going to pause. <laughs> um, obviously, I'll, you know, I'll, yeah, I'm going to use it, but crikey. Yeah, that's, that's, um, yeah. Right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I bet you thought, what is she doing? <laughs> You'll have to let me know. Did you realise, was you actually shouting out going, what are you doing? Or, or was you just confused like me? Yeah, I don't know what I was uh, thinking. I think my mind's wandered uh, a bit now. Right, so all I did was <laughs> cut them in half and then I folded them. And they're just the right size. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd have been so fed up if that had been too stained um, paper. What I'd, you know, stained especially for it my goodness but luckily i only use it for notepads anyway so it will get used <laughs> but yeah luckily i'd i'd got enough uh to do to do it because um yeah i'm a bit low on it now obviously but i've got <laughs> i've got loads of scraps <laughs> to get used up so i won't be buying any more till um i've used all my scraps so like I say, I'll just make the um, booklets up to, you know, the size papers I've got normally. Right. But yeah, I don't know why um, I didn't click on them and all that cutting when I said, oh, it's, it's you know, really simple. Yeah, my mind had wandered. It's going to tea time as well, and I, I do think that that has something to do with it. Because I think I was actually thinking, one among grow, two it's getting late. Um, and <coughs> what are we having for tea? So yes, my mind had wandered. Silly Billy. Right, so that's that. I'm going to say that's ain't me counting. <laughs> I was right. So it was a bit of a bizarre way I counted it too. So that's that one. One, two, three, four. Ah. So that one's going to just have four. So that wasn't too bad. Right. So I'll sew a couple on camera and then I will turn off and get them all sewn. So we'll do a couple. I don't know where anything is because I've not got, well I do know where everything is but I'm going to have to get everything out. So because it is really slippy I am going to put uh, clips in. Normally when I'm sewing little booklets in I don't bother. Um, you can normally just hold your papers in the right um, place. But yeah, with it being slippy, um, I'm just going to put that's the one that's got six. Isn't that funny that I'm going to say it did feel um, a bit thicker? <laughs> right, anyway, so just. Just eyeballing it, that this you know about the same either way. Don't have to be a masterpiece. It's only it's only a notebook, and then just do that. So that's that part. Um, gonna want my pokey tool. So that's that. Um, gonna need a needle. Really, I haven't got perfect needle like that's a good one but i don't know if the thread fits through there or not so let me just get my uh, wax thread which is like it's with my um 
to, to do dream catcher things. Right, one, two, three. Because I use the same thing for the um, web on the dream catchers. Is that going to fit? Oh, it does. Oh, that's good. Right, so we've threaded the needle and I'm just going to poke through there. I've not got my fingers there. And I'm going to go through that and let's bring it that and through there. Okay, so we've got three holes. I'm going to go through the middle and I'm going to stop and I'm going to tuck that into there. And then we're not going to lose that. Okay, I'm going to go in through this top if I can find the hole because it's a little bit hard with a um, burlap. So, around here, so, oh, that's it. So, go back in, then we'll go down to the bottom. And then we're going to go back through the middle like so. Undo that. You can see I've got a thread each each side of, of this. I'm just going to pull. Let's make sure we're not, you know, sticking out or anything. And then just knot it. Undo two little knots. and cut it off yeah oops sorry oh my goodness right so that's one that's fine I see this is all coming out oh I see me getting some fabric time what I might do is uh, put some double sided tape down it just to just to catch it. I don't know if it's just that one or if they all going to be like it. I hope not. Right, so we need to do it again. So I'm going to go three lengths, cut it off, thread this needle. Do with hold just being a fraction bigger, but it's not too bad. Right, so we're all threaded. I'm gonna go through the middle, top, bottom, through the middle. I'm gonna catch that there. Gonna go in through the top. God, it's, it is a little bit hard because the burlap's on that. Yeah. Gonna go down the bottom. And back through the middle. Let's put that needle under there so we've <coughs> got a thread each side. Just pull it a little. Let's check that side. It's fine. And then we'll knot it. So yeah, when I've sewed them all, I will uh, check them all and anything sticking up I think I'll just put some double sided um, tape underneath it so yeah today I wish I had fabric tack <laughs> but again you know I don't use these bags very often so maybe I ought to just buy fabric tack and really just only use it when for things like this so that's that um, so I think we've got three nice uh, types of, of notebooks. 
so there we go so that's it for for today sorry if uh, today's was a bit <laughs> all over the place i feel uh, quite chaotic i don't know why just in my head um but yeah that's it so thanks for joining me and i will see you tomorrow for uh, th that'll be the last um weekend <laughs> um marathon um yeah so see you soon bye